looked beyond our atmosphere many times, but never have we seen what we are about to see. Two Voyager spacecraft are now approaching the planet Saturn, a ringed spectacle of gas and ice, and the second largest of our planets. There are special cameras aboard the Voyagers, though, which will revolutionize our knowledge about Saturn, its curious rings, and its ten moons. Launched from Cape Canaveral in 1977, the Voyagers completed their tour of Jupiter in 1979, when they returned 33,000 pictures to Earth. The close-up photography uncovered some remarkable findings. We learned that Jupiter has rings like Saturn, and one of its 16 satellites, or moons, has volcanic activity, like Earth. The Voyager encounters with Saturn will sharpen our impressions of the outer reaches of our solar system. It's cold out there, nearly a billion miles from the sun. And yet one of Saturn's moons, the giant Titan, may have an atmosphere that could support organic life. An exploratory spacecraft, Pioneer 11, journeyed past Saturn a year ago with less sophisticated cameras. Pioneer successfully passed through the dangerous rings and discovered a fifth one, which the Voyagers should verify with photographs. Well, we can expect very good quality photographs of Saturn. Uh, one of the things that made the, uh, the Jupiter pictures so interesting were the surprises that were, uh, that were seen in these, in these pictures. Now, we know even less about the, about the Saturn system, and so we might uh, expect more surprises than we had even at Jupiter. These computer-generated pictures show what Voyager 1 will see, traveling toward its closest encounter on November 12th. It should reveal some exciting discoveries about Saturn which have been beyond our grasp. On that date, Voyager 1 will dip near the clouds of Titan to look for potential life there. Then it will pass behind Saturn's rings to study the planet's mixture of water and ice. Scientists think the rings might have been formed from a shattered satellite or some other body that was pulled into Saturn's orbit by gravity. To us, they seem sleek and smooth, but the rings are composed of huge chunks of ice. At close range, they appear as an asteroid snowstorm. Saturn's composition has been a scientific puzzle because of the dense clouds that extend 37,000 miles from the planet's rocky core. We don't really even know exactly how large many of the Saturnian uh, moons are because they're so hard to measure from the Earth. Uh, and in fact, one of the major experiments that we're conducting um, with all of the uh, instruments on board the Voyager spacecraft is a comparison of the Jupiter system with the Saturnian system to see how they differ and why they differ. The Voyagers were planned to affirm our beliefs about Saturn and Jupiter, but they've been so successful that NASA is sending Voyager 2 on to Uranus. After it tours Saturn next August, Voyager 2 will travel at an average speed of 60,000 miles per hour, reaching the seventh planet, Uranus, by 1986. After that, the spacecraft may venture even farther, to Neptune. When the Voyagers finish their mission, they will lose contact with Earth and tumble endlessly into new galaxies. But then they will have served their purpose. For what was fantasia and speculation in our minds has become factual knowledge about space, one of the last frontiers. It began in 1977. Two Voyager interplanetary spacecraft were launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida. They arrived at the planet Jupiter in 1979, Voyager 1 in March, Voyager 2 in July. The spacecraft twins discovered that Jupiter's great red spot is a giant hurricane-like storm system with swirling counterclockwise winds of several hundred miles per hour. A previously unknown ring around Jupiter was found. The Voyagers discovered that Io, the large rocky moon nearest Jupiter, is actually an active planet, and they spotted eight erupting volcanoes. Another planet-sized moon, Europa, is remarkably smooth, covered with a thin glacier of water ice, while Ganymede and Callisto are half water ice. When Voyager 1 made its closest encounter with Saturn on November 12, 1980, 
it found a planet which was more diffuse in appearance, presumably because storms and clouds form much deeper in its cold atmosphere. The winds of Saturn blow at 1,100 miles per hour. Before Voyager, there were six rings observed around Saturn. We now know there are literally hundreds of icy rings, some braided or twisted together with multiple ringlets. A different system of moons or satellites was discovered at Saturn. One of these, Titan, has its own very cold atmosphere, mainly nitrogen, no oxygen, and a small amount of methane, or natural gas. Other smaller moons are a new size class, only a few hundreds of miles in radius, and made of almost pure water ice. There is evidence that the moon Dione continued to be an active geologic body for some time before it finally died and froze into its present state. To find out what Voyager 2 will be looking for as it makes its closest encounter with Saturn on August 26th, we talked to Voyager project scientist, Dr. Ed Stone. With our Voyager 2 flyby, we're trying to, uh, of course, follow up on some of the discoveries uh, that Voyager 1 made at Saturn. For instance, we have a, uh, a, an observation of a star as it emerges from behind Saturn, and, and uh, we track it as it goes behind the rings and we measure its brightness every one one hundredth of a second. And that way we will be able to count every single ring because we will see the star blink out behind every little ringlet, these hundreds of ringlets which are there. These are the sounds of lightning-like static discharges coming from Saturn's rings. This is one of those things that I think was not anticipated at all much like Io's volcanoes, and uh, yet it does appear that there are static discharges coming from the rings, and we're going to be listening to those more carefully on Voyager 2. After it leaves Saturn, Voyager 2 will travel to Uranus, arriving there in January 1986, then on to a rendezvous with Neptune in August of 1989. And finally, it will sail out of the solar system searching for the end of the solar wind and interstellar space as it goes. The Voyagers, returning thousands of pictures and data using less power than it takes to toast a slice of bread. A pair of small, unmanned space travelers that are helping us grow in our understanding of the universe.